Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Sol Solution. Today is we are going to discuss about time and labor use case. So we are going to perform these two tasks. We are going to enter five days of work time through Monday to Friday of the current month. We are going to submit the monthly time card and also we are going to uh, submit three days of absences. So let's just move on to the application and see how we can perform this task. So right now I'm logging as an employee. I'm on the me and here I'm going to time and absence. The application is slow, so it take a little bit more time. So now I'm going to go to the existing time card entries. Okay, so we already filled for uh, Feb 1 to 28 Feb. It's pending for the approval. So now we are going to approve time card as a worker. Then it's move to the employee's manager. So here you can see the Feb 1 and it's Feb 28. Okay. Uh, these two, 23, 24, sorry, 22, 23, 24 is a sick leave absence. Here you can see this. It's 22, 23, so click, and now it's 24. So we submit three days absences and 17 days regular earning okay now let's approve the time card as a worker okay so we are submitting new changes for the approval now we have to log in as a brian joseph managers credential and then approve his time card okay Okay, so here you can see 
the manager of the brand Joseph is a Robert Jackman. Okay. So we log in as a Robert Jackman. Then we have to go to the bell icon. Click on it. And here you can see approval of payroll time entries for brand Joseph. So let's approve it as a manager. Okay, it's done. Now we have to log in as a payroll administrator and see if the time cast sent to the employee's payroll or not. So I log in as a payroll administrator. Now we have to go to the my client group. Under the my client group, we have to go to the payroll. So now we have to go to the calculation card under the person information section. Here we have to search for the person. So I'm going to click on the advanced search option. Now I'm going to search by the person number. Here, this is the employee. Let's open. Here you can see the time card for the employee. Let's move to the calculation card. After the approval. So this is the time card of the employee. Here is the interval calculation value on the calculation card. So this is the total eight hours, working hours per day. Okay, so let's even close this and run the simplified quick pay for the employee. Here we have so fun. Search for the Here you can see the earnings and absence. Okay. And this is the earning. Regular earning. Okay. So let's... run the quick pay for this employee and these are the benefits you can see here the dental free tax and all that okay, just here in the element entries Here you can see all this thing come from the benefit parts. Okay, so let's run the quick pay for this employee.
so now it's processing let's wait for a while okay so it's almost completed we have to wait for few minutes Okay, so these are this is the net payment. This is our total earning, total employee tax deduction, and pre tax deduction. For more detail, you have to click on this show detail. Here you can see this is the gross pay, pre tax deduction, employee tax deduction, voluntary deduction, net payment, and the absences. Okay. So this is the earning. Okay. Total is a monthly earning eight thousand one sixty, and here you can see the per day earning. So here you can see the hourly rate is forty for the employee salary amount hourly rate. Right here you can see that salary amount hourly rate. Okay, so let's calculate this. And see if we find this result. So here, for example, rate is a forty, okay, and working hour is a eight hour, and we have to calculate with one point five factor, right? Here you can see that it's a according to the compensation zone wise. So let's calculate this. We have to multiply rate. Hours and with factor. Okay, total amount is a four eighty, and here you can see the total amount is a four eighty. So now, for whole month, we want to calculate for whole month. Here is the total amount. It's a eight thousand one sixty one hundred sixty. Okay, so these are the calculation, and here also we applied the absence. So we applied three days absences. So per per day calculation is a three twenty, right? Because for example, uh, the working hour is, for example, the Two R, okay, and rate is a forty. So the amount is eighty, right? So same if the working hour is. Eight and rate is a forty. Now, what's the calculation for that? Three twenty, right? So here is the per day amount. Okay, eight R for three twenty. It's deduction amount. Okay. So these are the two things we have here for the employee. Okay, now let's talk about the benefit. So here I take some of the example. Just like if we talk about the employee benefit option, so here we have the medical, dental, and vision. Right. So we talked about the medical. Okay, here. So how it's calculated. So here we have the calculation for it. So here the total amount is two sixty eight, right? Where we can find it? Here you can see that the total employee medical benefit is a two sixty eight. Okay, this is for the employee, and this is the employer rate. Okay, total amount is three thousand two hundred sixteen for the employee annual amount. So how it's get calculated? How it's deducted? Monthly, right? So here 
we have total amount okay this is by the uh weekly okay and if we have the monthly so total directed by the 100 the simple calculation but for the weekly and monthly it has uh, bi weekly it said it have a different calculation so if we have a 268 okay and then we multiply it by the 268 with the 12 so we got the total amount which is a 3216 where we have here 3216 the total animal amount okay same if we divide it total week in a year is a 52 right so if we divide 52 to, uh, by the uh, if we divide 3216 by the 52 so we got the total amount uh, deducted by the employee salary which is a 61.84 right so here you can see that it's a 61.8485 sorry it's a rounding rule applied here okay so same we can calculate the dental same we can calculate the vision and if we talk about the employer rate here so here you can see we same talked about the medical so here is the total amount so how it's got calculated so here you can see the total amount is 579 where we can find it so here in the employees benefit option we have employer rate 579 right then here if we multiplied with the 12 so we got our total amount which is a 6948 so if we divided this to the weekly so we got our amount 133.6154 it's also applied the rounding rule so here is the 133.62 so same we can calculate the other benefit also so here in the employee salary we have different kinds of benefit options some for the employer here you can see the medical and the vision and some for the employees the dental and the medical pretext okay so that's how benefit calculated in the fusion so i hope these calculation clear to you how we can calculate the regular earning by hourly and the absence and then how we can calculate the uh, benefits here so i hope this is clear to you thank you so much for watching the video